All righty then. It's your old buddy Jimbo. Back at it again. Blue collar beer review. Eh, eh, it's a special day. I put a collar on. All right. The verdict is in. We're ready to rock and roll. The people, the huddled masses, have spoke. And the verdict is in. So, I'm not supposed to do a drum roll. Because <laughs> it shakes the table too much. And I get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. So, here it is. This is the special little special edition of Blue Collar Beer Review because after the 100th, you know, vlog and everything, I had y'all pick and y'all picked and so I'm going to hammer it down. This is a Buffalo Bayou Brewing Company. It's in H-Town, Texas. Yipper, yipper, you know it. Um, and uh, some of you called this the BBC and you want, want to see me do it. This is the big Black Cowbell. <laughs> and it's a pretty big beer, literally and figuratively. This one's, this one's a big one, all right? This is a uh, Hoppy Imperial Stout, all right? And it's alcohol by volume, 10.4. Ooh, it is one pint, point six ounces. So, it's a good amount of beer. It has uh, supposedly um, roasty nodes to it. It's dark malt and American hops. So this is gonna be one of those, uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of those uh, that look like oil. Yeah, this is like we're pulling out oil. So we're gonna, let's give it a whirl. I got a this has got like a wrapper around it. It's a very exotic beer, so I'm gonna try not to cut my fingers off. Um, see what we got here. Oh, it's, no, I digress. It's not, it's not a wrapper, it's wax. Oh, look at that, man. Spare no expense. This is like some scotch. Ooh, okay, damn. Peel that all off so I can get to the lid or the cap. Okay, that should I should be able to get that. Clean up that little bit of mess. Well, that was an experience. This is supposed to be good for anything, you know. You're supposed to be able to enjoy this on a first day, a dinner party, your mom's birthday, whatever. You break this out, I guess you're the life of the party. You're the cool guy. So. Thank you for picking that for me. I'm officially a cool guy now. Remember, this is just, we're doing this. One beer, one big beer, and one take. So, man. Thank you. Thanks everyone for voting. It wasn't even close. There was, there was piety, and there was satellite of love, and each one of those got a vote, but Everyone wanted to see me do this one. So, here we go. We're going to do the double dump. We're going to look, listen, and smell. And um, then we're going to go for it. So, wish me luck out there. And I'll see you on the other side. I got this. All for you. Oh, oh yeah. It's kind of difficult to get off. I got it off. There's that wax, plasticky stuff. Nice. Oh, it smells stouty. It is definitely stouty. Let's dump her in. You guys are killing me. And this is that high dollar. Ooh, hold on. Service tension. Oh, perfect. Come on, hold. That was perfect. Perfect pour. This is that high dollar beer that I treated myself to. So, thanks. Thanks for picking it. 
It is dark, like I said. It's, uh, yeah, it's foamy motor oil. You know, that, this is what you got. Oh, it smells so good. It really smells good. Do I have, did I, do I have, no? I didn't think I had anything on there. No, I, I, I think I got, oh, it's so good. It just smells so good. Nah, I, I, there's never, all right. It's like, it's like relaxing. It's not like, but it's making noise, but it's just like, it's like a kitten purring. That's what it kind of sounds like, but a continuous purr, not like, it's like continuous purr. It's, it's wonderful. Wonderful already, but it tastes strong. So I better get to it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Buffalo Bayou, big black cowbell in the house. Oh, oh boy. There's a lot of beer. There's a lot of beer here. Number two, down the hatch. Harry. I like it so much. Buffalo Bayou, you make a wonderful beer. We should be friends. We should hang out more often. Uh. <laughs> I think you wanted to come out and say hello. Big Black Cowbell. A hoppy imper imperial stout. This was uh, bottled in 2018, so it's, you know, two years old. The thing about Imperial Stouts is they, uh, they can age. You can age them. They, uh, actually, you want to let them sit around and let some of that sugar and, and it cooks down. You know, it, it's still doing stuff in there, and you got to let it age. So this is a sweet beer. This beer is definitely Jimbo approved. It, it's, it's fantastic. It's got a great flavor, great finish. It's not too stout. I mean, it's not overpowering. I can still taste it on the roof of my mouth. And you can see the lace and the Brussels lace. You, could, you, you, you can see the marks on the glass as I was kind of gulping it down, which is pretty impressive for this stout. Um, so, hey, I appreciate any, ev everyone that voted. I really appreciate it. You picked a great beer for me. I think this is, uh, we're going to do this more often. we got some other stuff coming up. So, stay tuned. Oh, that's a triple. That's a triple burp. I think that might be a first. Uh, this was a big beer, so. Yeah, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. Cheeky or otherwise, I uh, I just want to hear from y'all. I love hearing from y'all. Um, with that being said, have a super fantastic weekend. And, uh, you know, live life. Drink some wonderful beer. It's, it's manna from heaven. Big Black Cowbell Jimbo out. <laughs>